Just in time for both back to school and kind of the beginning of the holiday shopping season, Lenovo has, frankly, a pretty cool looking detachable Chromebook. It's the IdeaPad Duet 5 Chromebook, and it is a sequel of sorts to one of our favorite Chromebooks and favorite budget laptops from the last couple of years. The original Duet was a 10-inch Chrome OS tablet that had a clip-on keyboard, and you could get it for under $300. That was especially valuable over the past year and a half when everybody needed their own machine to do remote school and remote work, so some families may end up buying a lot of different computers for people. But that original version was not perfect for everybody, especially because the 10-inch screen is pretty small, and frankly, the keyboard was kind of cramped because it's made to match that 10-inch screen, so not great for long-form typing or using, you know, all day, every day. This new version, the IdeaPad Duet 5, improves on a lot of those things, still keeps the price pretty low, uh, more in the $500 range than the $300 range, but for that, you get a larger 13.3-inch screen, Full HD screen, and here's the crazy thing, it's an OLED screen. Uh, we don't see a lot of OLED screens in laptops in general. Uh, on top of that, Lenovo says this is the first detachable Chromebook with an OLED screen. Uh, I have no trouble believing that. Frankly, I can't think of another Chromebook off the top of my head with an OLED screen, but maybe there's one or two of them out there. It's powered by the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 as the original version, uh, which means it's not a super powerful system, but it's really optimized for battery life. Uh, when you have one of those mobile phone style chips in there, you can usually run it for a lot longer without uh, recharging. And that's important if you're gonna carry this around and use it in its tablet mode, you know, not plugged in. The tablet part itself, it's only about 1.4 pounds. Of course, then you have to add the cover that comes on the back and you can store a stylus in it and then the clip on keyboard. But again, good credit to Lenovo here. The keyboard and that back cover are both included with the system. A lot of other brands, you have to buy that stuff separately and that really drives up the price. And because that OLED screen is so great for watching movies and streaming videos, it's also got quad speakers built in. Hopefully the sound is a little bit better and my brief hands-on with it. I didn't really get a chance to crank it up, uh, but a bigger body usually means more room for bigger speakers. Because Zoom meetings and other types of webcamming are so important these days, uh, it's got two cameras, a five megapixel camera on the front and eight megapixel camera on the back. If it was up to me, I would switch those. People obviously use the front-facing camera a lot more these days, but it's a bigger device, so there really isn't room for it on the front face. Lenovo says you can get up to eight gigabytes of RAM, up to 256 gig SSD storage inside. That says to me that the base model is gonna have less than that, uh, but it maybe we're trading up to that. Uh, you don't really need storage space on a Chromebook that much, but more RAM, always helpful. Especially over the past year and a half, good budget laptops have been hard to find. They've been in short supply, frankly. As soon as some come in stock, they generally sell out right away because everybody needs, again, laptops for doing remote schooling, for doing work from home stuff. And you can't really share a computer like you used to have maybe a, a laptop all the kids would share and you can't do that anymore. Everyone needs their own. And that's why I really like good solid budget laptops like this. Chrome is great for students because most schools that I've checked out, they use things like Google Classroom that are that are Google-based, uh, cloud-based, uh, perfect for Chrome OS systems. Uh, so this takes that original Duet, which again, we liked, but was a very small device that you would not perhaps feel comfortable using for more than you know an hour or two at a time and turns it into something that's frankly MacBook Air size, 13 inch screen, full-size keyboard, and keeps the price way down. Uh, if you're gonna buy something that's around $500, I always say consider a Chromebook because you're gonna get something that feels much snappier than a $500 Windows laptop, which will really feel more like a budget laptop. I'm looking forward to checking out the IdeaPad Duet 5 Chromebook in more detail when it's uh, available. I'm especially looking forward to checking out that OLED screen.